Morning everyone, back with another episode of Stuff and Things. We're at a familiar location this morning, but this time we are in the storyteller Psy mode. This is my first trip in a while where we don't really have like an end destination. We don't have really anywhere to be. It's just me, Ashley, Camber, and we're kind of cruising around right now taking like a mini vacation because this week is my birthday. And Ashley likes to celebrate birthdays for an entire week long, so. I think it should be a pretty good time if we keep finding spots like this. Now this spot in particular, we were just here in a recent video, but I was in my Tacoma and I was not sure if the storyteller was going to be able to make it out to this point. Obviously, we're here. We've actually been on the road for two days and the first day was spent driving out to Adrenaline Vans and we cleaned up the entire Storyteller so this thing is nice and fresh for the trip. And then yesterday, after we left that area of Colorado, we came over here to Utah and this was probably the hardest that I've pushed this van so far. And let me tell you, it really surprised me. When I came here originally in the Tacoma, we were going over some obstacles and I was kind of feeling it out. I'm like, I don't know if my van could make it here but with the help of that van compass 63 extra ground clearance I turned them down to one so it was nice and soft the suspension was able to flex around those new Toyo tires are nice and beefy so I was able to kind of cruise over a lot of the obstacles and the all-wheel drive system of this van did a killer job I'll try to show some of that off-roading stuff on the way out of here this morning but yeah very impressed with the van so far. There's a very good chance that this is the first storyteller ever to be parked on the edge of this cliff right here, which is pretty rad. Hey, look who's back. How was your walk? It was so nice, you missed it. What would you like to do today? I don't know. Come on up for a quick interview. Ooh, an interview. <laughs> look at it up here. Pretty nice. It's so nice. So, so, this is your first trip in the Storyteller. It sure is. And we've done a million trips in the old sat van. What did we do last night as far as using the van? Took a shower, which was... You're a fan of the Halo shower? Yeah. It's definitely better than the Rebel, for sure. It was warm right away. Super hot with that hot water research. So nice. We cooked so food. Nice. Yeah. Watched a movie on the TV. Yeah. Played Nintendo Switch. <laughs> we ran the AC all night. All freaking night. <laughs> Camber slept, which was great. Not in our bed. Not in our bed, which was great. Yep. And does it feel cramped in there at all? I like it. Because you can move things around. Yeah. And I just feel like there's more storage. Like smart storage. Yeah, you can kind of hide stuff out of the way. So it doesn't look so... Yeah, it doesn't look so jam-packed. What do you want to do today? I want to go walk around Moab for a little, downtown Moab. Okay. And then, I don't know. Got another campsite, but I've never been to that one. Uh -huh. Hopefully it's not hard to get to in the van, but. We shall see. You ready? Ready. Thank you. 
howdy. It is lunchtime and we've been in town here in Moab all morning. What did we do? We did a lot of stuff. We went and had breakfast at one of our favorite breakfast spots and then we went over to the Moab Museum. I've been here a million times and I've never like found out about the history but they had a lot of cool stuff. Some ancient artifacts and old handcuffs and a pistol from like the late 1800s. One thing that I didn't realize is that Moab, Utah was known as like the uranium capital of America. So there are uranium deposits all over the place and that's what brought thousands of mining families here back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And we saw all that stuff, read about the history and it was pretty cool. I'm gonna heat up some lunch right now. And some hoist. Ooh, staying hydrated with hoist. I made some jambalaya for dinner last night, so that's what I'm having. Did you notice one of the cool things about this microwave? Yeah, of course. I noticed all of the cool things about the microwave. Compared to the microwave in my other van. Yeah, you don't have to like use that little conversion chart thing. Yeah, it's full power. My other microwave in my other van, it was like 700 watts, so the sat van. He has a name. The sat van. I'm still trying to get Ashley up to speed on liking the storyteller. I like the storyteller. The sat van just has sentimental value to me. Yeah. Also, sorry for the noise. We're running the AC right now because it is super hot. Another perk of the we storyteller. <laughs> we tried going to get tattoos, but all the tattoo shops were closed or appointment Don't only. Don't come for us in the comments. We were not getting matching tattoos. Everybody. Not getting matching tattoos, that's for sure. I was, yeah. not, I was not even going to get a tattoo. Ashley was going to get a tattoo and I was going to watch. Because he's a Yeah, I'm afraid of needles. Give this a little stir. We also took Cam for a swim earlier in the Colorado River, which is not great. She was fine. She was attached. As long as she doesn't drink it, it's fine. But now you smell like a wet dog. No. Yeah. No. Ooh, that's hot. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Same thing I make and eat all the time. 10 out of 10. Even reheated, it's a 10 out of 10. So, the plan now is to head south out of Moab to our next camp spot. On Thursday, my birthday, I think we're just gonna be camping and kind of doing whatever. But then Friday, we're heading into Vegas to visit some friends and hopefully relax for a day or two before going to California. So, gonna eat lunch and then head to camp.
made it. We made it. We made it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice dance. Can you teach me those moves? Yeah. Well, this is not where we planned on coming. Our plans went a little awry. The spot that I picked out for tonight, we actually drove there and the trail was like not existent anymore. So I don't know if it was closed or what happened, but we decided to keep on driving. So we drove about five and a half hours and we are now at the next campsite that I had planned throughout this entire route. And Ashley kind of saw what this whole area looks like on the way in, but tomorrow we're going to be greeted with a hell of a view where we're at right now. I don't heck. even think, heck of a view. Heck of a view. It's a family channel. It looks like a whole lot of nothing right now, but you'll see in the morning. Can't wait. What time is it? We crossed the time zone like know. 30 times. My it says 9.30. <laughs> Your watch says 8.30. <laughs> My phone says 9.30. So. Okay. It's 9.30 on a Tuesday, which means... Taco Tuesday! White people taco night. White people taco night. Let's see. Ground beef. Sour cream. Salsa. Lettuce. It was organized, and now it's highly disorganized. Fiesta. Tortillas. Tortillas. white people tacos are served. Ice cream in a movie. Ice cream in a movie. Sorry, Cam. I don't know if you'll like this. Strawberry shortcake. Dink. <laughs> Looks questionable to me. Dink. Is... It's cheesecake. Dink. That's very good. Mm -hmm. It's not the same. I don't know if you guys ever had these as a kid. It might have been a Hershey's thing, Hershey, Pennsylvania, but. We used to call them scooter crunches. If you look up scooter crunch ice cream, <laughs> they're typically like the chocolate eclairs or whatever people call them, but the strawberry ones. So good. Are so good. What are we watching? Spooderman. That's Spooderman 2. We didn't finish Spooderman 1. The an original hour and Spooderman. An hour and 11 minutes. It's remaining. a long movie. All right. Got it queued up. We're going to relax, enjoy some ice cream, watch a movie. Cuddle Camber. You ain't sleeping up there, Cam. No, you're not. So, nighttime canyon run. Story tell our first impressions again, because this is your first, like, day three days in it. I think it's day three. I told you, it's crazy. It doesn't drive like a, like a van that I'm used to driving. It drives like a Mercedes car. It's crazy. Yeah. Definitely coming up those. Coming up the what? Yeah. <laughs> coming up those. That road was steep. It was dark. All the lights were on. Suspension and tires play a big part in how this thing handles off-road. We have the ground clearance to do everything that you guys saw today, which is rad. And I think I'm going to go to Van Compass again and do a little bit more 
upgrading as well. Kind of overkill, but it'll be cool if I can make it all happen. So you guys will see that in some video. I'm gonna let tomorrow be a mystery for you guys, but it should be fun. It's kind of a mystery for us, honestly. Cool views in the morning. I'm very excited. Make some breakfast, hang out, relax. And then tomorrow night spot is even cooler. And I know we can get to it for sure. All right, that's all for today. If you guys enjoy all the van content, I'd appreciate it if you left a like, share with your friends, your other van life community, whoever you hang out with when you're out camping, send it to them. Tell them I said what's up. This is me saying what's up to the people who were sent this video. You probably didn't watch it this far, but. You want some licks, Cam? Were there drugs in the ice cream? I'm being proactive. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, if you're new here, consider <laughs> clicking subscribe. We got a lot more days on the road here in the van. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>